I got a black magic woman. I got a black magic woman. Yes, I got a black magic woman. She's got me so blind, I cannot see. But she's a black magic woman, and she's trying to make the devil out of me. Coming up today on the Geekasaurus, we check out some fun stuff, like tonics. Welcome fellow Gigasaurus, nothing's more fun than changing the way your character appears in an MMO. And in Guild Wars 1, there was a plethora of different things you could do. So in this game, in Guild Wars 2, they actually have given you tonics, which are similar to what they were called in Guild Wars 1, and they have the same kind of effect. They change you into something else. Most of the time it's kind of benign, you can just run around as that particular creature. Uh, sometimes they actually have some real abilities, and this one, for example, is a screech that silences or scares away all other critters that are in the area which I think is kind of fun. It doesn't change the way the game is actually played, it just makes it kind of interesting. How I got these tonics was I got them in one of the mystic lock boxes. And these mystic lock boxes just drop or you can purchase them very inexpensively on the auction house. People were selling them for like 10 copper or something. The reason for it is you need a mystic key to unlock it and the only way to get the mystic key is either finding one which is kind of rare or you can purchase one of the mystic keys from arena net directly. When purchasing one of the keys through the gem store it was about I think 150 gems which isn't expensive but it's not exactly cheap either. But inside these boxes you get a bunch of little stuff so tonics are one of them and as you see I've changed myself from uh, an eagle raptor into a scorpion thing into a boar. And while you're in this form you can perform basic functions but you cannot do combat. So it's only for fun if you want to run around looking like a pig for a while there you go. Inside the Mystic Lockbox, I also got a couple of things like some experience bonuses, some reputation bonuses, some crafting bonuses. So it is kind of worth purchasing the key, or finding a key if you're lucky enough to do that. So that about wraps it up. Just a quick little video showing you what the tonics can do and what the effects are. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, see ya!